we need to pray blessings over our enemies. And some people may say, why in the world would I do that? Why would I pray to God for him to bless my enemies? Listen. When a person is in sin, their thinking is not right. In some cases, people act upon their feelings. And for some people, they have been hurt, psychologically damaged. They have been hurt in many ways. So because of that pain, it is causing them to act in a very improper way. So they are acting upon wrongful feelings based upon their pain. Back when I was in sin, I got hurt by a person as well. And it is not that person's fault, <laughs> but because I got hurt, I hurt others. And in some cases, I took pleasure in hurting others because I was so hurt. Now, I had to reap what I have sown, but I took pleasure in it. But when I came to God, when I started following his rules and regulations, I pretty much regret everything, almost everything I have done in life. When you come to God, I believe, I believe God is going to give you wisdom when you begin to follow his rules and regulations. So when you stay in sin, you lack spiritual wisdom. So your perception on life is going to be clouded. It is not going to be right. So when I say that you need to pray blessings over your enemies and not try to take things personal, the reason why I say this, because you are dealing with a person with a clouded perception. Let's say that a baby throws up on you or let's say that <laughs> you are dealing with a baby. Now, if an infant does anything wrong, are you going to be really, really mad at it? Of course not, why? Because it is a baby. A baby don't really know much. I am not saying this to insult anyone or anything like that. When you deal with sinful people, they are like spiritual babies. <laughs> I am not trying to make anyone mad. I am not trying to beat anyone down because, look, I don't look for trouble, per se. People that are in sin are like spiritual babies. So their understanding about spiritual matters is non-existent or <laughs> very tiny. 
So the same way that you would not really get too angry over a baby, you need to try, I guess you can say, handle sinful people in that same manner. We need to pray blessings over our enemies. There are people that I help now. And some of them are in sin. And I feel like sometimes, I guess, that they really don't appreciate me. I feel like, in some cases, they are using me. But I think about it in this way. As long as I continue to help them, and pray for them, there is a chance that they are going to come to God. And if they come to God, they are going to gain wisdom, I believe. If they gain wisdom, then they are going to see what I have been doing for them. Man, please listen to this. Please listen to this. They are spiritual babies. So, of course, they aren't going to understand what they are doing. Yes, they may know that they are doing wrong. Yes. They may know that they are using you. Yes. But, man, as I told you before, I believe I said this, back when I was in sin, yes, I knew that I was doing wrong, but when I came to God, I was shocked. I was shocked how foolish I was back then. I was shocked that I would actually talk to people or treat to people in that way, some people. I was shocked. And sometimes I think about it now, and I thank God, man, I thank God that he gave me so many opportunities to get things right. I was so crazy. <laughs> I was so crazy. Shocking. Now, if I can be the way that I am now from being the way that I was, if it is possible for me to change, imagine your enemies. So while you are over there getting all mad at your enemies, Kevin, I am not going to pray for my enemies because blah, 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 blah. If you were to do it, asking God to save them, listen, we can't go by our own understanding. You don't know what God can do for that person if you were to pray for them. Listen, I was so crazy. <laughs> I was so crazy back when I was in sin. I was getting deeper and deeper and deeper into sin. I probably could talk to you for hours about what I was going to get in and I was, let me say this. <laughs> there was a time when I was doing really, really, really bad, really bad things. And how can I say this? Somewhere in my chest area, I felt like an extra energy. I don't know how to explain it, but I felt like there was something else there, like like an entity inside of me, I felt it. I could feel 
I guess you can say... I don't want to say extra power, but I could feel like extra energy. I am serious. And I kind of figured that it was a demon in me, but I was so bad that I did not care. I actually took pride in it. Like I could feel I don't know how to explain it, but I could feel the energy sourcing or going... <laughs> I have no idea what to call it, but I could feel it like right in here. I am serious. I am very, very, very serious. I could feel it. And I was so arrogant. I was so prideful that I saw whatever that was in me as a plus, as that entity, that demon can help me be more wicked. And I knew that. So back then I took pride in knowing that there was a demon in me back, man, I don't think you are listening to me. I don't think you are listening to me. Please listen to me. Back then, I took pride in having a demon in me. So I was that way back then. Now I am this way now. So if it is possible for me to jump from that to this, Your enemies can do the same as well. <laughs> Please listen. So let me stop here. Pray blessings over your enemies. Yes, it may sound stupid. Listen, you can't avoid getting hurt. Even avoiding trying to get hurt is going to hurt you in some way or form. It is. Myself, I get hurt so much. It is crazy. It is crazy. But the way I see it, if I can sow a seed into a person, as in tell them something about God, and if I get hurt by that somehow, some way, I don't like it, <laughs> getting hurt, but hey, at least it is for a reason. So please listen to what I am saying. God bless you.